All right, let's be honest. You saw this thing coming. Let's check it out. Now, if you've been watching it all, ooh, little pull tab. If you've been watching it all on the streams on our other YouTube channel, which is linked right there, please, thank you. Check it out. Uh, or on Facebook where we were streaming. Haha. -ha. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Playing a lot of other things too. But a lot of Final Fantasy XIV lately. And the game just... You can't bind everything to a keyboard. You just can't. There's too many things like in WoW. Not like other MMOs. So we're going to try this out. This is the Razer Naga Pro. It is the, the big mouse with too many buttons, but I'm a wireless junkie, so you can see wireless, hyperspeed, whichever. Um, I think this mouse is like 150 bucks. I do have a discount that I use because we are not necessarily sponsored, but we do have affiliates with Razer stuff on our other channel. Like I said, check it out. Uh, the thing that makes this one fun, other than your standard so many buttons is it's modular right so not that you need too much of an unboxing for razor stuff everybody's kind of seen razor stuff these days but you know you get your cool chroma razor stickers and stuff they all kind of glitter in the light always fun big old booklet telling you how to install a mouse who knows how sorcery i'm sure so really nice braided cable now i already have the charging dock from Actually, originally from my Viper, so I actually have an extra charging dock because I have a Basilisk. So I have three Razor mice. Um, <clears throat> I think all of the mice in my house are Razor now, except for my Logitech for the MacBook. Um, so there is some benefit there. They kind of created their own little ecosystem to where, you know, if you have the charging dock and you can put them all through Synapse, you can swap between mice. So I can charge my mouse, my son's mouse, and everything through there. Uh, but here we have, here's a little extender. Now I'm just going to plug this USB, try to just plug this USB into my case for the receiver and just use the same charger, uh, the wireless docking charger. For some reason, this is Razer's most expensive mouse, but it doesn't come with the charging dock, even though the much cheaper like Viper Ultimate does. But the benefit here is that this is an extender, there is a camera, and it has a little sticky thing, so it's not going to slide around right you can plug into that so that you have better signal depending on how your case setup is um, <clears throat> you have one piece here the modular side for your standard forward back button depending on what game you're playing this is what they usually consider like their mobile one it has six buttons this is probably the one i'm going to use for final fantasy honestly um, i'm not going to use this for every every game out there but because it's a big boy but you get a full 12 number pad on here and so i'm gonna try this out first probably uh but i have a feeling i may skip some of them because my hands are big enough that i'm just gonna be fat fingering these things but in in normal razor fashion we get the white i don't know i always forget what they're called the little gliders but it is bluetooth and 2.4 so that's a huge benefit uh because i have a couple laptops you know, so it's not just going to be stuck on my gaming computer duty. I can use it for a lot of things. One thing I'm thinking of is not just Final Fantasy. Is like, hey, what about editing software? Do it using this in Resolve or Final Cut or anything like that? This might be pretty good for the Photoshop people out there that are much better at that kind of stuff than me. It could be good. Now I have, I guess, big hands, but what they did here was they put a shelf for your ring finger which I do really like. And then there's kind of a cutout or kind of a spot for your pinky to rest instead of gliding all over the floor. I've gotten used to, not that I really love, I've gotten used to mice with the thumb like shelf, right? Like the G502, which I'm not a fan of, sorry guy. Uh, but the Basilisk is similar and it has that same thing. So does the MX Master Mouse by Logitech. So I'm gonna try this thing out. Uh, I don't really know how much other footage there is to do of it. It is, a razor mouth you know so i may just overlay some final fantasy footage with it and just just call it from there uh <clears throat> let me know what you think this thing is huge but i i do know i'll be not using this for most games it's not as heavy as it looks though 
Razer has done a good job at making most of the mice pretty lightweight. I have to give them some credit there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, check out the streams and the videos that go up on our other channel. Uh, subscribe here, and we're, we'll talk more about this as it goes along. Thank you. Oh, and duh, I should have shown it in case you haven't seen it. So duh. So take it off. All you do is you just kind of pull it off. It's all magnetic. And you have your little dongle there. So it's a good place to put it because you can hide it in each one. You want to go six piece, you go that. There's supposed to be different profiles and hotkeys per. So this is probably the one I would use in something like an MMO or a MOBA if I ever enjoy those games ever again. We'll see. There's a new Pokemon one coming out. So, hey, maybe Pokemon's <laughs> the MOBA I get into. But as far as like your forward back, I think there's so many more mice that would be more comfortable for this style. Like a million different mice that would be more comfortable for that. I think the only reason to get this mouse is because you can add 6 or 12 buttons on top of it. And you can just swap it. Now I need 12 buttons. That can do a lot for a lot of different programs. Um, <clears throat> it Oh, there's no hyper scroll sensitivity switch. Should have mentioned. Uh, you do have left and right scroll, but you can't change the sensitivity or the resistance like you can on the basilisk, which like I mentioned before is cheaper. So definitely something to think of, but you do have profiles at the bottom. So you can change your sensitivity and you can go profile 12 key, profile six key, or whatever weirdo is going to use profile two. So yeah, let me know what you think. We're going to try this thing out and uh, talk to you soon.